Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we are thrifting my Pinterest board, doing some decorating. I thought I would show you another example of thrifted items versus styled items. I hope you enjoy this video and it inspires your creativity. Let's jump right in. So the first thing I did when I knew I wanted to add some decor to my mantle and switch things up a little bit is I went to Pinterest. I use Pinterest all the time for inspiration and just a way to spark my own creativity. And that's exactly what this image did for me. I loved the layering detail. I loved the different sizes. I loved everything about this image. And I also took some inspiration from other images in the search. Once I had that inspiration, I went to the thrift store specifically looking for items similar to the ones in this photo. So let me take you to the thrift store, show you these specific sections of the thrift store, and then we'll come back here. I'll show you all of the items that I took home and then we will style them together on my mantle. Let's head to the thrift store. So with my shopping cart, we headed off to the first section, which was the pottery section. So looking for two types of vases. In the inspiration photo, they had one larger vase and then they had a smaller one. And I loved the way that that looked together. So I was looking for first the larger one and got so lucky. I found this gorgeous vase. I love the detail on this vase and the coloring. And then for the second one, I knew it I wanted it to have kind of a different shape. So I searched not only the pottery, but also the glass with originally the thought of painting it with a simple mix of baking soda and paint. So just a quick tip, always look past the color because paint can change anything. Then I headed to the frame section and I have gotten so lucky over the years finding some really gorgeous frames here. And I was looking for something specific. I wanted it to be a little bit more moody. I did love this particular one. It just was a little too bright gold for me. And then I struck gold when I found this one. I love the brass detail on this particular frame. I also love the brown matting and incorporate it in my simple thrift flip that I'm gonna share with you. So stay tuned for that. It was only $9.99. I did check the floral section to see if I could find any green stems, just like the inspiration photo. Unfortunately, I didn't get lucky here, but I do do something that I really enjoy in the end. And then candlesticks. We needed a few candlesticks to add to the styling of the mantle. Always check your thrift store when it comes to candles. They have such a variety of colors, textures. Love getting my candlesticks there. And then I just had some fun. Once I had those key pieces, I looked for items similar to ones that I use in the rest of my home. So I always use the same types of materials, wood, metal. I love brass, mixing brass and silver. I love different textures and I just wanted to look and see if I could find any other pieces to use on the mantle. items with you that I found at the thrift store starting with this gorgeous vase it's actually so big I can't even get it in the frame there it is it is absolutely stunning I love the coloring I love the marbling detail I love the shape of this vase it is so gorgeous and perfect to kind of go into spring with the green marbling detail I love that it has like a caramel undertone it matches my couches here in the living room such a beautiful piece. This item actually surprised me. When I turned it over, I noticed it had this marking on it. And I did a quick Google search and saw that vases with this marking are going for like $60, $70 Canadian. 
So that was kind of a surprise. I'm really happy that I was able to find it and use it in this styling. The inspiration image had two vases side by side. So I knew I wanted a second vase to go beside the larger one on the mantle. Although I didn't find a ceramic vase, I did find this one. I thought the shape was similar and I just loved the size of it. This was only $4.99. Oh, by the way, that vase was $13.99 and you know I had my 20% off coupon. So I saved an additional amount of money on all of the items. So I bought this with the intention of painting it to make it look like pottery. So using a combination of paints and baking soda will, can give you that effect. But I'm thinking I might do something different. So stick around for the styling portion of the video. So really happy to have found this. Next item I found was inspired by the inspiration photo. I really liked how there was a print leaned up against the mirror on the other side of the mantle. And I was really happy to find this beauty, this brassy warm tone on the frame portion, really like the brown matte. I have a really simple thrift flip that I'm gonna share with you before we start styling, so stay tuned for that. The inspiration photo has a candlestick beside the piece of artwork on the mantle, and I have collected thrifted brass candlesticks over the past few years, so I have quite the collection. I knew I wasn't looking for that. I did go to see if I could find any tapered candlesticks that I could use, and I did find a few, which I showed you in the clips at the thrift store. And while I was looking and showing you guys the candles, I came across this bag. And if you saw my last thrifting video, I said I was looking for one of these candle snuffers. Is that, is that the right word? It, it's a snuffer, I think, yes. And I was really, really happy to find one in this bag of goodies for $3.99. It came with two candlesticks, came with a couple other little candles. They look like more of a floating candle. And these are really pretty. I like kind of the pink ombre effect. Might be something I could use for Valentine's Day. But I was very excited to find this and think maybe I could incorporate it somehow on the mantle once we start styling. It is really pretty. This is like almost a cast iron material here at the top and then it looks like it's just a bamboo stick. It's so pretty and looks handmade and I was really, really happy to have found this. And then while I was browsing for other items that I might wanna use in the styling, I did come across a couple things that I wanted to share with you. The first one is this gorgeous frame. I absolutely love this frame. I love the matting, I love the coloring, I love the detail, and I actually really enjoy the picture inside too. So I might use it as is, which is very odd for me to not flip it in some way, but I just thought it was really, really pretty and would look nice on the mantle. And I loved kind of that greeny undertone that it has as well and thought it went really well with the vase. The next thing I found was this glass vase and I really loved the ribbed detail on this vase. I loved the shape of it and just as is clear, I think it's really quite beautiful. And if I don't use it on my mantle, I am sure there is somewhere that I could use it in my home. And this was only $3.99. The next item I found was this gorgeous wood bowl. It was only $3.99, it is a solid piece and just really gorgeous. And I thought that I could use it on the mantle just to complete the styling. And again, if I don't use it on the mantle, I can definitely use this somewhere, whether in my entryway, on my coffee table, so, so pretty. And then the last item that I found was this beautiful pitcher. I love the patina on this pitcher. It looks to me like it is very old and just gorgeous. This was $5.49, but you can see kind of similar color palette in all of the items that I thrifted today. There's this caramel color kind of running through, browns, I can see greens in here. So it really spoke to me and I have an idea for it. So I will definitely share that with you just using some really inexpensive grocery store florals, but I don't know, something about it seemed very special and I was happy to bring it home today. Those are all the items that I brought home from the thrift store. I do have a couple flips that I wanna share with you. So let's do that now and then we will start decorating. 
first simple thrift flip is just adding an updated moody piece of art to this beautiful frame all i did was go to google and search free moody art i will link the website that i used to download this image and then i went to ups and they printed it on matte cardstock now i wanted to add a little bit of texture and i've been seeing this floating around instagram where you add matte mod podge to a printed piece of art to make it look like an oil painting and let me tell you it is worth this step I absolutely love how this turned out. It made it look so much more realistic and it was such an inexpensive way to do it. I found the Mod Podge at Dollar Tree and was really, really happy with how it turned out. So all I did was remove the existing art from this frame. I also removed the glass because I wanted it again to feel and look like an oil painting. And then I simply added my print, added a little bit of tape and voila. I have a beautiful piece of art that cost me less than $10. The next simple thrift flip that I have for you is just adding some florals to a vase. It it's not really a thrift flip it's more just how i put this together and all i did was go to the side of the road where here in canada we have this grass it's so beautiful and it grows like in buckets <laughs> so i simply just cut a few stems and then just cut it to size in this phase and absolutely love how this turned out and i originally wanted to find some florals at the thrift store and I couldn't, so I wanted to keep this really inexpensive and challenge myself to not spend more money. Another inexpensive floral that you can find at most grocery stores is Baby's Breath. And I love the simplicity of Baby's Breath. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's a perfect flower to use kind of in the winter, kind of spring, even going into summer months. It's just, there's something so fresh and just simple about it that looks so beautiful. And I just paired mine in this gorgeous silver vase that I thrifted and I love how it works together. Getting started on the styling, which happens to be my favorite part. Starting off with the left side of the mantle, I knew I wanted to put the print on that side. And then I went over to the other side and worked with the vases just to make sure that it felt balanced. Opposing and fly, I was the darkness, you yearned for the light. I find it so helpful to add items and then kind of stand back and see what the full picture looks like. I even find it helpful to take a picture on my phone that also can give you a good snapshot at how things are looking. I went in and layered in that little print that I had found at the thrift store and I'm just working on adding the candlesticks, really using that inspiration photo as a place to kind of start and then just kind of branching off and seeing what feels good to me. I ended up switching out the metal pitcher on the left side with that beautiful glass vase that I found. I just added a very small spring of baby's breath and I really felt like it just made it feel more airy and really helped with balancing since i have the clear vase on the other side so although i took inspiration from that image i feel like i ended up kind of making it my own and i'm really happy with how everything turned out all of these beautiful thrifted items that i found just sitting in a thrift store i feel like i really use them and was able to make them work in my space in such a beautiful way. going to do it for today's video thank you so much for coming along with me today as we thrifted my pinterest board i hope i sparked your creativity today i'm very happy with how everything came out here on my mantle and i can't wait to carry it through the rest of my living room don't forget to subscribe i share all things creating a beautiful home on a budget and i can't wait to see you all in my next video bye everyone